Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1234 hours on Thursday, March 17th, 2016. This is Beck. I'm Chris Bowden. You're not. This is Jeff. So, here, you take that. Your job is to look through the screen and document what we do so that you know everything we're doing, okay? Sir? Here's what you need to know. The super secret key to access the robot cabinet Oh, we know that. It's on the side. Stick it in a hole. That lets you pull it out. To open the door, go that way. Don't have your knee resting on the door. Every now and then, just while we're in here, the robot will throw a wobbly. And as you change the key for to go from automatic to teach mode, it won't. When it won't, there's a very precision, delicate, high-tech solution for this problem. Take the key, you'll need the key, and thwack the relays. Just doing that, just tap, 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 tap like that. Don't hammer them, but a solid authoritative thwack usually does the trick. Because the relays like to weld themselves shut from time to time because it's old and crufty. All right, is the computer still on? Yes, I can hear it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. This is the power button for the computer. No, it looks off. Is it off? Oh! Oh! Oh, is it going off or on? It's off as soon as you're down, and then if you get up, it turns on. I see. If it's turning on, i got to boot the robot. Are you coming up or down? <laughs> it should be going off. Because when the robot turns off, it sends a command to the computer, hey, turn off. It's coming up. Okay. Well, we'll just do this again. <laughs> Because as the computer load comes up, the first thing it does is load cook across three. I don't know what that is, but it looks like that. Also, it's running VNC. You can see down here, and we may be able to VNC into this computer. We have to get some information for other people, um, so we will be doing this as, as we go. But we can see down here, make sure to get a shot of these three things. I think this is cook across three and they'll need to know about that. This is VNC, which means mm -hmm. we can remote into this computer if this computer has Ethernet. Let's find out if this computer has Ethernet. I thought it was isolated. Well, it is. The Ethernet isn't plugged into anything. So to open this, and this, by the way, you may be wondering where the line is of what I trust you to do and what you should never ever do on your own. <laughs> Using this key to open this box makes me nervous, but you can do it in the exceedingly rare event you have to reboot the robot. Sticking this key in this hole is the line. Sir. Okay. It's not that I don't trust you or I don't think you're smart enough. It's that if anybody breaks the robot, I want it to be me. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is where we're into the Holy of Holies. computer does not have an Ethernet card. You'll also notice some odd things inside this computer, like SATA. This computer never had SATA. Also, this cable here, MFC X, you say it's an 804, is not plugged in. X840 is not plugged in. X961 is not plugged in, and M, no, is that an M or a W? I'll say that W, 40166A as an alpha, is taped together and under any of that Yeah. This computer is hooked up to an IDE drive sitting here. Could have more memory, but it don't. It's an upgraded motherboard. It's an upgraded computer, like we installed this <laughs> to get this computer to go into this cabinet, we had to use an angle grinder. There's video of the entire process. It's a thrilling watch. The floppy drive is down here and is connected from the looks of it. IDE. And it has USB on the motherboard, but it's probably not going to work with the operating system because the OS is 95 and predates USB. So now they know. So getting 
Ethernet on this computer will not be a trivial feat, but if they can find a card that is compatible with that motherboard and operating system, we'll give it a shot. Um, it does have the antenna. Okay, so what we've got is, let's, let's go take a look at this screen where we can drive things. All right, so the first thing that's coming up is RDW or registry? We choose RDW. Everything Always. chills out. Like it stops flashing danger, danger. Um, power on finished. Let's see what comes up. We'll go in order. There's a lot in there. Well, this is, this is sense. Oh, this is all right now. Okay. So acknowledge the emergency stop. Have we, where's the emergency stop? Did you, is the button pressed? You got, you want it pressed? No, well, here. Okay. There is no emergency stop. All right, um, reboot after power fail. Transmission error, heatsink temperature. It's gonna, it's gonna throw wrong machine data for this robot type. Okay. Invalid tool, working envelope surveillance, not possible. Buffer battery low. I wish we could find, oh, I know where the buffer battery is, and yeah, we need to replace that. Um, a lot of heatsink, pissing and moaning. A lot of heat to pissing and moaning. They didn't have time to cool down properly. Okay, so everything there is cool. Let's acknowledge all. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now it's saying we have to perform mastering. So given that, I'm going to go, well, what user mode are we in? You're in standard user, user right now. Okay, so we're going to go to expert. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in the super secret password, which nobody knows. Okay. And now we're going to do mastering. Okay, cool. So we're going to master dial. Now I'm going to go over here and look at the robot just to be sure. But six, five, four, three. Ooh, two's out. No, because we redid it, didn't we? Yep. All right, because two is out of its spot for mastering. Yeah, it's not quite on the pyramid there. Yeah. Uh, drop into manual mode. Because two, I can actually dead nuts master by eye, which is kind of cool. In fact, I'll do it right now. Here, I'll, I'll do it. Let's, uh, we're in teach mode. Access control, take it down to 3%, and that's access 2, and I want to go, I'd like to move. Why can't I move? How am I supposed to master the damn thing if you don't let me drive? Not do it. Okay, what's your damage? I got green lights everywhere. Why won't you let me drive? Let's... Let me see, let me see something. Try that. I was in T1. I didn't do it. Hmm. What's the problem? Oh, hang on. I heard it change over. I can hear the relay. Um, all right, let's just master a relay. Now we know our mastering's off a little on axis two. Mm -hmm. Great. How do I just clear those all out? Oh, well, now we're moving. Alright, I'm going to put that. 
right there. Oh, that's a spot. All right, so I'm going to go set up on master axis two on master. Okay, close set up master dial. Axis 2, master, close. Now I know axis 2 is damn skippity awesome. Alright, the rest of this, you're headed. <laughs> but it's up, it's working, it's, it's all powered on, it moves. Now it's your mojo, okay? I will hand this off to the glorious back. They all believe in me. I need to go get dials. Oh, you're going to do dial master? Well, if A2 is out... Well, A2 is in now. By eyeball. By eyeball well, within like 40,000. It's in. We'll see what Dominic says then. Okay, see what Dom says. Because I want to make you a dial thing, but I need K2 for that, because we actually have to do lathe work and make an adapter. Okay. So, if you can find out what the thread is on the fittings, that would be a huge help. We need yeah, to know... A thread reader? A thread gauge? Yeah, we got thread gauge. So figure out, but you got you got to have the diameter. We need to know the diameter and the pitch. It'll be the pitch is easy. It's one of like three choices in metric, but we need to know the diameter. Cool. These are looking this, sexy, Batman. Today's lesson is I have to weld flat. I cannot weld at an angle. Yeah. Or else I end up with droopy shit like that. Okay. You don't. You don't want you don't want your shit droopy. I don't want my shit. I'm telling you, at, at my it's age, fun. that's a real that's a real danger. Nice. Can get this wire feeder to stay consistent. He's gonna swear at that for a while. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll be back. It's getting sexier by the minute. Mm -hmm. So it's the music of choice at the moment. Uh, Blues Travelers. Actually, right now it's Red Hot Chili Peppers playing, but it's my Blues, it's Blues Traveler station. Okay, cool. This is this is getting nice. I'm really excited about this. And I've been on the phone to several plastics companies. If you work at a plastics company, contact me. We need a sponsor that is a plastics company because for things like this, I need to make three discs. What's the distance from 38. the... 38. I need three discs, 38 inches diameter, that are at least half, preferably quarter inch thick, of HDPE. UHMW would be okay. HDPE would probably be better. Um, and we need three of them, and I'm just I'm going nuts trying to make this happen. Ed, look at that sexy cable. What is it? Fiber. Really? Well, that's cool. What are those? What's a V brick? Composite in. Do these convert video to Ethernet? Well, I'm interested because I see composite in encoder. Oh. Here's a new flashlight, LED flashlight, sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, that's just ridiculous. What do we got there? We got a, oh, a couple nice DVD players. Okay. <laughs> we got to put batteries in that and check it out. What? Gonna have Paul replace these all with uh, UV. Oh, yeah. No, IR. There we go. We'll have fun with that. Do that in IR, and then in a field at night with FPV, and you can see that thing from a mile away. That'd be awesome. That's a sexy little rolly rack. Cool. Is that everything? Cool. All right. Good job, Ed. says that those are computer mounts for the rack. These are computer mounts for the rack? Okay. 
Check out those V-brick things. I think those are a uh, composite to Ethernet encoder mojo. And it might be that one's an encoder and one's a decoder or something, which would be really useful. They look like fun. I'm guessing this one's bad. Why? It says bad coder board. Oh, that's a bad reason. Yeah, that's, that'd be bad. If it's bad, we'll get it. But let's check it out. Composite in S video, mic, audio, and drag. Ooh, what are you? Oh, oh. Distress. Uh, yeah? Oh, ADAs? Okay. Cool. What's in the box? What's in the box? Alligator clip. That's pretty much all that's in this box. Okay. Other than that, it's just a box. Okay. Looks like a little amp there. Um, those are both satellite. These are satellite receivers. Okay. The Pentagon satellite. I kind of want to know what's on the Pentagon satellite. All right. There's going to be a lot of that going on. So, we'll be back. You'll get to see it on the time lapse. How's that for sexy? Uh, Batman? What? No, it's stable. Okay, cool. It felt tippy. But that's, that's cool. I say I was riding it earlier. So well, Batman? Hmm. The wheels aren't. Let's see, you got four points if you just simply rotate it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a little bit cockeyed, but well, it'll be all I right. Remember how I was telling you the rounded over stuff's kind of hard to square up? Yeah. We really, really need to get a it. proper welding bench. This is better than the last I one. I need a better welding bench and clamps that aren't cheap Harbor Freight magnets. And a welder that doesn't suck would yeah. be a nice touch, too. So that's the first one. That's beautiful. Nice casters. They're all right. I like them. Okay, so that's the report at 1724 hours. So, sir, I have to do a photo shoot tomorrow for a proposal. Like, this is a big for serious proposal. Okay. And we need to be ready to fly the boat. Okay. So, cool. We'll be back.